All right, here we go. Question number one from our Calculus One homework number one in WebAssign. It says a student bought a smartwatch that tracks the number of steps she walks throughout the day. The table shows the number of steps recorded T minutes after 3 p.m. on the first day she wore the watch. So we're going to need to find the slopes of the secant lines corresponding to the given intervals. And then in part B, we're going to need to estimate the student's walking pace in steps per minute at 3.20 p.m. by averaging the slopes of two of the secant lines, and we will have to pick the appropriate two slopes to average. All right, so the first thing we need to do uh, once we're in our scratch work here is determine X and Y. T, the number of minutes, is going to be X because that's our input. And the number of steps is determined by how many minutes we've been walking. So the steps is the output. And then we need to find the slope of the secant lines, knowing that a secant line has two points on the line. Setting up the first slope formula, that's going to be Y2 minus Y1. Notice that our first interval is 0 to 40, which would be our x1 and our x2. So y2 would correspond to the number of steps after 40 seconds, and y1 would be the number of steps after 0 seconds. So again, in our numerator, that's going to be y2 minus y1 in the denominator that's going to be x2 minus x1 and then simplifying we're going to get something over 40 and that something is going to be determined by the calculator 7228 minus 3388 3840 divided by 40 is going to give us 96. Now that is 96 steps per second, and that's what's going to go in our first box. So back in our web assign, notice if you click in the box, it kind of gives you an idea of what it wants. The exact number we got was 96, and now we can go on and calculate our second slope. Okay, back in our scratch work, our next slope is going to go from 10 to 20. The number of steps corresponding to 20, 5,722, that's going to be our Y2. And the number of steps corresponding to 10, 4,609 is our Y1. So again, setting up our slope formula, we're going to have 5,722 minus 4609 in the denominator that's x2 minus x1 20 minus 10 is 10 that's easy enough let's pull up our handy dandy calculator for the numerator 5722 minus 4609 1113 Divided by 10 is going to be 111.3, one, one, one and that's going to give us the slope of our secant line for that interval. And enter a number. We're going to put 111.3 one, one, one and move on to the next interval. All right, for our last interval, now we're going to have x1 is 20 x2 is 30, which means y2 is 6,486, and y1 is 5,722. Plugging into the slope formula again, 6,486 minus 5,722 all over 30 minus 20, which is 10. little help in the numerator, 6486 minus 
five seven two two is seven sixty four divided by ten is seventy six point four and in putting that into our web assign seventy six point four and then if we scroll up we can now answer part b we need to estimate the number of steps per minute at 320 by averaging the two slopes that would be closest to the time of 320. Well, that would be parts 2 and 3 above from part A. So we need to average 111.3 and 76.4. And we can do that really quick in the calculator. Uh, remember to take an average. What you do is you add the two numbers together and divide by 2. And that's going to give us approximately 93.85. Enter a number, 93.85. And then if we've done everything correctly, we can click grade this. And we can see that we got all of the answers correct. And so that's going to do it for this problem. If you have any questions or comments about anything covered in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.